Chatsworth is special to me because I actually spent most of my childhood living there in my family's home, so you could say I'm an expert in the area. It's a suburban neighborhood in Los Angeles, deep in the northern end of the San Fernando Valley, and it often gets overlooked by many people. But my parents grew up in Los Angeles and they chose Chatsworth as a place to raise a family, and so do tons of other people. My name's Pierce and I work on a real estate team in Los Angeles, helping people move from all over. Today we're gonna look at the top reasons to move to Chatsworth, California. Chatsworth has some really interesting history and a lot of great filming locations. It's home to Iverson Movie Ranch, which was a 500 acre ranch that's been used to film more ranch movies than anywhere else in history, and they've had over 2,000 total productions. And the original Purge movie was actually filmed entirely at a house located in a gated community in Chatsworth. It's also home to a property that was listed for $21 million last year that was once owned by Frank Sinatra himself. This home was used in filming some iconic productions like the original Bewitched movie or the original Transformers. And some awesome TV shows this house has also been in include Big Little Lies, Mad Men, and Drumroll Please. Californication, one of my favorites. Yes, this is one of the coolest homes in the San Fernando Valley and it's located in Chatsworth. And recently, a lot of celebrities have been picking up homes in Chatsworth, including YG, Sway Lee, and DJ Mustard. One thing that attracts wealthy people to Chatsworth is it has these gated communities where you can buy these mansions that are much more affordable than certain other Los Angeles neighborhoods that are comparable. Last year, the rapper Polo G bought this $5 million mansion in Chatsworth in one of its most affluent gated communities, Indian Falls Estates. A home like this would probably cost almost twice as much in comparable neighborhoods like Calabasas, for example. The lot sizes in Indian Falls Estates are massive and there's currently a 17 acre lot that's listed there for sale. It was built a little bit more recently in the 1980s and there are still homes that get developed there to this day. Another notable gated community in Chatsworth is Monteria Estates one of the most unique and low-key gated communities in Los Angeles. I lived very close by to this community, and if you exit the 101 freeway and drive all the way north down Winnetka, you'll end up at the gates of Monteria Estates. This community is huge with some massive lot sizes. None of the estates are anything less than two acres, and you can barely even see what goes on in the community from outside the gates. It even has its own beautiful lake inside. I've been to several homes in Monteria Estates, and I can say it's a dream community for sure. It's like entering an entirely new world. You're in Los Angeles, but you could swear you're in another state with how far away your neighbor is from you. Anyways, this community is highly valued and it often doesn't even have homes listed for sale, so I'm always keeping an eye on it. And lastly, I wanted to give a quick mention to the ranch style homes that you'll find in Chatsworth. They're somewhat similar to the homes you might find in Hidden Hills, which I mentioned in my pros and cons of living in Calabasas video. Because of its large property sizes and distance from central Los Angeles, Chatsworth has a ton of homes that have horse stables and even farm animals. It's not uncommon to see people riding around on horseback in the suburbs of Chatsworth, especially on the northwestern end. Although most houses in Chatsworth don't have farm animals, it's something that is nice to see, especially around Los Angeles. And if you need any more help with neighborhoods in Chatsworth, please feel free to contact me using my information in the description below. Now let's take a look at what makes Chatsworth a great place for families to live. For starters, Chatsworth has some great schools. I went to school in Chatsworth for most of my life, from kindergarten through eighth grade, and I can't say I loved school, but I did feel very safe there. The only time I really got scared in elementary school seemed like the biggest event ever to me. There was a suspect in a recent crime running around Chatsworth, and our school had been locked down, and he ended up being caught on the roof of the Denny's restaurant, so, you know, good times. But there are dozens of schools located in Chatsworth, from preschools to high schools, and there's a nice mix between public and private schools. Many of the public schools in Chatsworth are charter schools, with a couple good elementary schools being Art Community Charter School and Superior Street Elementary School. My mom used to teach at Superior Street Elementary School and I remember visiting her class of second graders when I was younger. A couple of the larger public schools they have include Lawrence Middle School and Chatsworth Charter High School. And I actually spent part of my high school experience at Chatsworth High. It's not a high school that I would highly recommend, but it's got some good sports programs and some good staff members working there. My little brother actually recently graduated from there and his volleyball team just won a championship as well. Now alternatively, if you can afford it, Sierra Canyon Private School is right around the corner and it's a college prep school that has grades kindergarten through eighth. This school is notorious for celebrities of all types sending their kids there. A few names you might recognize that have attended there are Kylie and Kendall Jenner, Willow Smith, and LeBron James Jr. Now that we've briefly covered schools, why else is Chatsworth great for families? Another reason is because of the types of people living there. 
About 75% of people living in Chatsworth have a college degree, and the median income is about $115,000. It's clear that a lot of people choose Chatsworth as a place to raise a family because about one in three households there are families with children. This may be in part because there's a low violent crime rate in Chatsworth, so even if you aren't in a gated community, you're still going to feel more safe than most Los Angeles neighborhoods. Chatsworth is actually extremely diverse, with a large population of Hispanic and Asian people, and actually less than half of the total population of Chatsworth is white. Even for Los Angeles, this is one of the more diverse communities you'll find in America. Now that we've talked about how Chatsworth is a suburban area with some incredible history and a bunch of great communities and schools you can choose between, let's take a look at some of the things you'll find in Chatsworth. When I was growing up, I saw a lot of new construction being built in Chatsworth and close by areas. Not only are you going to see new communities and homes being built there, but also new businesses and shopping centers. An example of this is they recently built a business center across the street from my elementary school, and it has a plan fitness, a Starbucks, a grocery store, and even a Marriott hotel. And just up the street from my childhood home towards the north end of Chatsworth, they even recently built a new shopping center. It has a massive Whole Foods, an AMC theater with a full bar in the lobby, a Nordstrom rack, and a ton of great restaurants to eat at. So while Chatsworth has been known for a lot of open space and ranch style homes, the increase in building and development in the area has given a lot of new options for things to do close by. And one thing I noticed about Chatsworth is a lot of the restaurants there seem to have really great beer on draft. I don't know if it's just because of the people living in the area or what it is, but they love their draft beer over there. And Chatsworth is also home to some pretty cool parks that you can enjoy. One well-known park in Chatsworth at the north end of Topanga Boulevard is Stony Point. Not only do people ride horses on the equestrian trails around here, but they also tend to come from all over because it's a great place to practice rock climbing on its large boulders. The top of these rock formations at Stony Point have some excellent views of the San Fernando Valley and the Santa Monica Mountains. Some of these Stony Point rocks are actually about 65 million years old and originated in the Pacific Pacific Ocean. So over the years, the ocean actually helped to form these rocks and make them a super cool piece of history that we can see and experience on land today. And it actually isn't far from here where one of the worst train wrecks in US history happened back in 2008. At the time, I was at my friend Darren's house in Chatsworth and we actually heard the train crash and at first we thought it was an earthquake. Unfortunately, it was actually a Metrolink crash that resulted in dozens of casualties. But on the bright side, the crash was a catalyst that created the Railroad Safety Act of 2008. Another Another great park nearby is called Garden of the Gods and it's part of the Iverson movie ranch that we talked about earlier. This place has previously been used in film to depict Asia, Africa, and the American West. And it was even used in classic movies like The Lone Ranger and Tarzan the Ape Man. And here there's an easy hiking trail for you to enjoy that also has some amazing views. Moving on to another well-known spot in Chatsworth, we have the Munch Box. It's actually been recently considered a cultural monument and it was erected in 1956 and it's a hamburger stand that has chili dogs and chili burgers and it's just one of these historical spots that's kind of like pinks but it's a little bit less well known because it's in Chatsworth but if you're a fan of chili burgers at all then I would definitely check it out and lastly I wanted to mention the Cowboy Saloon which is the self-proclaimed last real honky-tonk in Los Angeles this place is super fun depending on what your idea of fun is it has live country music that plays from Wednesday to Sunday nights and it also has pool tables locals love it here and it's been used as a film location as well many times before so there you have it Chatsworth Chatsworth, California, a neighborhood that's often overlooked and underrated in my opinion. We talked about how so much cool history has come out of Chatsworth from its historic film locations to its incredible real estate. We also talked about how many affluent people and celebrities choose Chatsworth as a place to live to still stay within Los Angeles but get a lot more bang for their buck. And we looked at how Chatsworth is a great community to raise a family in a diverse neighborhood with plenty of great schools. And not only does Chatsworth have unique ranch style properties but it also has very special gated communities that are different than gated communities you'll find anywhere else throughout Los Angeles. And while Chatsworth is a suburban area that does doesn't give you access to quite as many things as you would with urban living. There's constantly new things being built there and there are still tons of things you can do to fill your time. Thank you for taking a journey through Chatsworth with me and if you found any of this information valuable please subscribe because I'll be releasing weekly videos talking about living in different neighborhoods throughout Los Angeles. My name's Pierce and I work in real estate in LA helping people move from all over and find their dream home or dream lease in the greater Los Angeles area.